the dream of our community is to have a space to create uh, economic and educational opportunities for ourselves. So I am an artist and there are a lot of artists in our community that need space to do art and create a co-ops uh, to support ourselves and each other through art. We need resources so uh, we can use our gifts to create economic justice. Hi, my name is Angel and I'm homeless and been homeless for five years. And uh, it's about community, it's about bringing everyone together and giving them a purpose, uh, a strive, a hunger for life again. Space would be important because that would give room to to learn a trade, a place to be around positiveness. So, um, yeah, economic growth is great. Having a beloved community, you know, by, uh, by being able to maybe purchase a space, uh, the economic growth would be that we could share our ideas and possibly the small funds that we do have and create our own businesses uh, out of this whole thing. But it would start here at B-Love to get property that we could gather together at and then branch out from there. That kind of an opportunity would be broke beyond my wildest dream. And, and, and to be with people that need the same kind of thing, need a, a, a chance. Social opportunities, people getting together just to be together, be happy. And, oh. There's so many to choose from, so many possibilities there, it ain't funny. I, I know for a fact that if I were to start up my own business, I would only be me doing what I love and loving what I do. No way it could be anything else. Yeah, don't no, think that would be, that could be one of the business, the business that I would start. Me and a couple other people go out into the woods and first show ourselves how easy it is to do this, find the debris, get it together and put it together into a life-saving shelter. Maybe even their upper classes on how to do it. So people that could go out yeah, and best team up with somebody who needs the help and help them help themselves. Uh, yeah, I, I don't look at it as just a business opportunity for possible cash. Now, I, I look at it as an opportunity for improving life for myself and anybody around me. never know when something's going to happen. Meet people that are trained in CPR, first aid, uh, and other stuff to be able to help each other. Homelessness, it's, nobody, nobody's out here by choice. And honestly, as soon as we empower the people that with this, with this kind of training, they can eventually go out and get jobs in this kind of training field or advance their career further and become nurses and doctors and stuff. A lot of homeless people that I've met are actually hyper intelligent. They just got stuck in a bad situation. I mean, it can happen to anybody.
So this morning in the, the wee dark hour, we had lots of folks here, um, most of whom you know, are people who, who are experiencing homelessness and they were here, you know, chopping up vegetables and helping cook and getting the clothes closet ready. For this is the heart of where we, we began to walk with each other and tell, tell our stories. Um, and it's out of those stories, I say, that, that we're called to then do uh, social and economic justice work, which is a big piece of what we do. But it's because we are in relationship. We began to know what's broken and what's wrong. We can then go out and begin to, to say, how do we heal this brokenness? It's a common symptom that we all have things with our bodies that need to be taken care of. And it's a way that we can, can sort of elevate the dignity of each other to say our bodies matter. Um, and we're going to offer space for the care of the body and the spirit. There's really a lot of power, I think, in knowing each other by name. Um, it says something really deep about our relationship. Um, and I think that's that's the kind of community that we that we offer here. It's something very, very special and unique and hard to describe. Um, that that really goes beyond, I think, those real simple numbers of we we really create family and community um, with people that we know by name and that we love and who love us and um, we know each other over long spans of time so that we can create really strong support systems in a culture where I, I believe our social support systems have just been shredded um, and and really the safe the safety net has huge holes in it. And one of the things that we realize is community is a huge part of that safety net. That's where people turn when they need help is to family, to friends. And so how do we become that? Um, and that, that is very holy and sacred work, is to, to sort of re-knit that sense of community and safety back together. Um, we're a community of equals, and this is a place where um, mutuality happens, where each of us have the power to welcome each other. And that's what I love about this place. Versus.